bacon cheeseburger dip. So I've already fried a lot of pieces of bacon, took them out, and I didn't even drain the fat from the bacon. I just put the ground beef right in. And I'm just crumbling it to get it started. I'll crank up the heat, and I'm gonna season it with some seasoned salt and pepper. So what I love is that the ground beef is basically cooking in bacon grease, so the finished dip is just gonna have that bacon cheeseburger vibe everywhere you turn. All right, so this is gonna take me a few minutes. I wanna totally brown the beef, and I'm gonna use this spatula just to break it up as I go. Okay, the beef is totally browned. That didn't take too long. So I'm just gonna try to drain off as much of the fat as I can. <laughs> there, that works. Okay, I'm gonna let this sit and cool for just a minute, and I'm gonna move forward with the dip. So, I've got two blocks of softened cream cheese in this baking dish. All right, so the cream cheese is spread. I'm gonna sprinkle on a little bit of pepper just for fun. I have some freshly grated cheddar cheese. I'm gonna add half of it to the cream cheese. And then, you guessed it. Okay, so then I'm gonna add all the beef. And if there's a little bit of juice, that's good. No worries, you don't have to drain all the fat. It's just extra flavor. Oh, how does this look so far? Amazing. <laughs> all right, now, this is kind of cool. Way to go, it's Ruining this. it. I know. Yes, ketchup! Ketchup? I'm on your side, Mom. Thanks, Paige. You gotta have ketchup and mustard in your cheeseburgers, right? Heck yeah. This is an interesting piece of trivia. Lad never eats mustard unless it's on a bacon cheeseburger. He doesn't eat it on a regular cheeseburger. Worcestershire. And you can mix the ketchup, mustard, and Worcestershire with the ground beef if you want to, or if you just wanna take the easy road, just do it all in the pan. And I'm gonna add half of the bacon pieces. Yum, yum, yum. And then, you guessed it, the rest of the cheese. This is gonna be incredible. Now, the dip is not the only aspect of this dish. Look at what I have over here. Oh no. Oh, Fresh rolls. rolls. These are actually frozen dinner rolls and I let them thaw and rise. And I have some garlic butter. It's just a mix of fresh garlic and butter that I melted in the microwave. So I'm gonna generously brush this butter on all the buns. Okay, so basically we're gonna turn these uh, rolls into sort of hamburger buns. So I have some sesame seeds and I'll just sprinkle Ooh. sesame seeds on each of the rolls. The butter's gonna help them stick. And this is such a cute presentation. It's got a real hamburger vibe with the sesame seed buns. All righty, so let's go to the oven, Alex. So the cool thing is, is the dip and the rolls bake at the same time. So I'll put the dip in and the rolls and both of them are gonna bake at 375 until the rolls are golden and the dip is bubbly. It's gonna take about 17 to 20 minutes. Okay, let's start with the rolls. Oh my goodness. How cute Ooh. are these? And the dip. Wow. Check that out. What? Oh my. It's not gourmet, it's not fancy but I wanna dive into this pan right now. But I'm gonna wait because I have a couple more little adornments. More ketchup, Alex. <laughs> but just for head. fun, just a drizzle. My ketchup don't drizzle, drizzle. <laughs> okay, mustard. <laughs> and just a little bit. You don't wanna have big globs of condiments on top. And then I'm basically gonna make this like a deconstructed bacon cheeseburger. So I'll top with shredded lettuce. I don't want to totally cover up the dip, though. And some diced tomatoes. You could do slices like you would on a burger if you prefer. Pickles. Oh my Can I gosh. get an amen? Amen. I love this. 
and then sprinkle on a whole bunch of the leftover bacon. I love it. I think we should try it out right now. Hey, do you want to come help me? Yes. Come over here, my child. Because I like ketchup. Get one of these, <laughs> ooh, garlic rolls. Here, I'll break one in oh, half. Yum. So then, how are you? I say we just go in with a spoon. Oh my come in here, gosh. Alex. That looks so good. Look at that. Wow. Oh, oh I'm just going for it. I'll take some dips from the from the plates over here. Oh my gosh, mom, that is so is good. Is it good? Mm-hmm. This is really good. That is insanely delicious.